Hello YouTube! Vintage Sterling Finds here with my good buddy Jordan. Yep, Meeker's Adventures I also post. Hey, I'm sure somebody will be leaving a comment in the, uh, in the comment section. Really? You'll see who Meek would that be? Who would that be? Are you psychic, sir? Meeker's Adventures always yeah. saying he's the first one to watch, comment, and like the video. This is why we're going on a hunt today. So um, we're going to hit how many thrift stores? Three? At least three, yeah. And um, we're going to take you guys along for the finds. If you like this sort of video, please um, let me know in the comments. And remember, if you could like and what else? Share and subscribe! Nice little first thrift store and a little 800% spoon. 50 cents. That's not bad. Yeah, we just literally looked through all these bags. Watch bags, costumes. They're expensive, like $12.99. Watch bags are $19.99. Nothing. There's two more watch bags we're going to try. Hopefully we find something. Currently we're just at the spoon. So we're gonna get this watch bag. It has a um, it has a nice citizen port, a couple nice straps, um, has a Saint Maltese, a uh, nice big kind of cool Timex. And where is the Saint Maltese? Is right there. Has a cracked glass but i think i can fix that for 15 bucks not a bad little score so we're looking at some watches i'm liking this diesel but for 20 bucks the straps messed up not worth it there's a pulsar beautiful watch but for 15 bucks i'll pass i'm yeah this watch i like the wrangler swiss army 8.99 it's a little bit banged up scratched up so i'm gonna pass not much here for watches. Okay, so the first thrift store wasn't bad. Now we're walking to the second one just around the corner. Did you get anything at the thrift store, Jordan? Not today, but I was there yesterday. I cut, I cut my own grass and I didn't tell him because he couldn't make it, but just saying that, you know what? Some days we can make it together, some days we don't. I'm glad today we did, but I found a few things yesterday. I got two bags of watches. I'll even let uh, Charlie here show them to you and we'll go through them later on. Sounds good, bugger didn't invite me. Second thrift store, not that great, not much, but Jordan got a little, yeah. Jordan got a new little friend. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the last location, the big value village. Do you think we're gonna get lucky, Jordan? Oh, we always get lucky here, bud. Okay, let's go. Slim pickings today, we got all these, nothing. Let's see what else we can do. Look, all these chains, we looked over here. Slim, slim pickings here. I was looking at this, it looks like something for a jeweler to hold stuff, but $6.99 and I don't really need it, so I think I'll leave it. But first interesting thing I've seen here all day. Look guys, Jordan found himself a nice harmonica. Anybody know anything about it? Four bucks, we're standing here like, is this yeah. a good deal? I don't because know. it's brass, it looks old, probably 50s, 60s maybe. Yeah. Mm. Jordan, can you give it a little blow for everyone? Yeah, blow it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, famous musician. Good, Jordan's buying the harmonica. I talked him into it. Yeah, yeah. Look, we found the uh, RCMP. This guy's job duty is cracking nuts. Yeah, I'm watching over all the shoplifters in the store. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Oh, 13 bucks. Uh, that's probably worth it, you know. But probably pretty old. I won't buy it, but neat find. Oh, next to the fishy. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find thrift. Jordan's favorite, the spoons. He comes here every day to try to find silver. The holy grail, you never know. Anything good there, Jordan? I don't know, not yet. Still looking. You know, I know there's so much to choose from. Even the nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see anything good in here. Come on, bud. That spoon shows promise. Oh, this one here. This might show some promise. What does that say? Uh, Japan? I don't know. I'm listening here. What do you think? You never know. Jordan, you like the one in front, right? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. I can't. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert just yet. Just kidding. He's the biggest expert you'll ever meet. This man's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What does this say? It says... Oh, it's got stampings on it. That's always good. Let me just use the camera for a second. Uh, I'm gonna say no. It's got a lot of stamping on it. Just says I'm made in England. Nothing I'm liking. Okay. Did you look at these ones, Jordan? No, no, I haven't looked. Well, these are cooking kind of cool. Stainless steel. Uh, 
But you never know, you can find stuff here. Mm -hmm. So it's a hit or miss people. So whenever you go in your thrift store, make sure you check out this little side aisle. Message from the expert. We were just looking, we found these pro case like for shooting guns. We were gonna buy them for four bucks, but then they were like, I knew they were 25, 30, so we passed. You can see just everything. Look at that bugger getting ahead of me, trying to scope everything out before I do. We found this cool old guy. As you can see, the back works, but then the light's missing the bulb. Six bucks seems a bit much, so we're gonna we leave We found it. a Fugi magic gravity ball. Whoa. I don't know why these things are magic. Kinda just feels like a piece of plastic, maybe with a piece of metal inside. I wouldn't call it magic, more just kind of stupid. We found some old flip phones. We won't buy them, but hell, $3.99 is a pretty good price. Okay, so we're back in Jordan's house. He has his harmonica. He bought these balls. Now we're going to see what I got in my watch bag for $14.99. I do apologize. I don't have my stand today, but we'll do this quick. First up, we have a mesh teen. Not much there. This is a no name. This is a sense no name. Polar, that's not worth anything. Here's the Saint Mortis. I'll see if I can replace the glass because that's a beautiful watch. That's a $120 watch if it works. Next up we have the Citizen. It's missing the back, but hopefully I can find another back for it. That shouldn't be a huge deal. But still, that's where I bought it mainly. Next up we have a No Name. Another no name. This is a no name. Half of a strap. This is a no name, but the straps, I'll keep the strap on that. I always hoard straps. Next up, we have a big old Timex. That's not a bad watch. I'll sell that for a little bit of money. Next, we have a Daniel Wellington. Um, straps, okay. I probably won't sell this watch. It's a new fashion watch. Not really my style. And lastly, let's see what this big boy is. This is a no name. Okay, so we didn't do the best on this bag. Now, let's see. Jordan said he had some watches for us. Hey, okay, and Jordan found us some watches. We have a nice old Timex. We have this one, it's a Prestige by Waltham. That's a nice little watch. This one is a, I don't know, but the bracelet's okay, so I'll take the bracelet. We have a Timex. These aren't bad. They came in a lot bag. Um, that's worth a little bit of money. We have this one again, it's a Jones New York. Not big money, a little bit. This is a... What does this say? Monte Carlo? I've never heard of the brand. It looks okay quality. I'm sure you guys will know better than me. But then the creme de la creme. The creme de la creme. This is a beautiful old Seiko quartz watch. It looks brand new. It's adjustable. Safety chain. Beautiful little watch. This was in the bag. So this is going to be some money. Jordan also found these for $3.99. They are marked sterling, as you can see there. And that wraps it up, guys. Um, if you see anything in the video that's worth a lot of money that we passed, please remember we're not experts. We're just guys having a good time. Thank you. And if you guys would subscribe, like, comment, share, means the world to me. See you guys on the next one.